Hi everyone and welcome to this quick bite titled Effortless Load Testing. My name is Simon Aronson and I'm a developer advocate with the company K6. If you want to get in touch with me after the talk, you'll find me on Twitter where my handle is 0x12b. Performance testing used to be something done almost exclusively by QA engineers. With tools like JMeter pushing for GUI-based testing, the practice didn't really fit that well into most developer workflows. As time went by, and uh, the more traditional knowledge-based silos started to lose ground to more agile, DevOps-oriented, cross-functional team constellations, a new set of tools started to gain traction. One of these were K6. These tools focused heavily on the developer and on making the practice fit nicely into their everyday workflow. In the coming minutes, I will show you how to easily get started with K6 and Datadog to execute, measure, and visualize your performance testing efforts. To follow along in this demonstration, you will need to have Docker installed on your local computer, as well as a shell at least fairly compatible with the bash way of running commands. K6 is a scriptable performance testing tool. The K6 CLI, which we will be using in this demonstration, is available as open source and is totally free to use. For those not interested in maintaining their own servers, we also provide a subscription-based cloud service. So first off, we'll have to start with writing a simple test script. In K6, this is done using JavaScript. So let's open test.js. We will start by importing the HTTP client built into K6, as well as the API for rate metrics. We'll also import a check function, which will be used to assert whether our assumptions about the system are fulfilled. We'll then initialize a rate metric for tracking failed requests. To tell K6 how to execute the test, we'll then export an options object containing duration, virtual user count, and the threshold for our test to be considered successful. For the 95th percentile of our requests, the HTTP request duration has to be below 500 ms. Last but not least, we have to write our actual test, which will export as the script's default function. So we do a request, and we then define a boolean that will tell us whether the response status was 200. And we'll then assert that this was actually the case using the check function and increment our failure counter if it wasn't. We'll then run this using the official K6 Docker image, just to make sure it works. Awesome! Next we're setting up our Datadog agent. We create the network called perf, and then we run the agent. 
We can then run our K6 test as we did before, but adding a result output using the flag dash dash out data dog, as well as an address to our dogstatsd service. Let's fire up the Datadog website. By installing the publicly available K6 integration, we'll get a predefined dashboard, which we'll use to visualize the data generated by our test. By running this test on a regular schedule in our CI, and optionally even setting up monitors in Datadog, we'll be able to be on top of performance and get alerted immediately when one of our thresholds are exceeded. Thanks for listening and enjoy the rest of the conference.